hello guys welcome here to the program at in this video tutorial we are going to see how to generate a qr code from any of the text also we can create the qr code for the link and anything else so here we are going to use the zebra crossing library which is the open source library provided by the google and i pronounce it as chuxing so here i am going to insert this activity main and create this loop a root layout to linear layout and then going to add an attribute that is the gravity attribute which will be center it means we are going to add any of the views inside this linear layout as the center of this linear layout so I'm going to add an image view for the QR code so I'm going to add a linear layout width of match parent and height let's say I'm going to give it as 300 dp and also I'm going to give it an ID for this so image view and then SRC attribute for viewing the preview here you can see the preview and then I'm going to add button for this to generate the QR code so match parent and height will be wrap content and then ID will be let's say generate button and then we will be adding the text for this button so I'm going to write it as generate QR code so just write anything you want and then close this and here you can see in the design part there is no any buttons this is because of the linear layout is by default set orientation to horizontal and now I'm going to change it to vertical so just added the orientation as vertical and now here you can see the button so I'm going to give it a margin top of 20 dp then inside this main activity we will have to initialize this image view that is the image view let's say i'm going to write a button that will be button qr code and we will initialize it using the find view by id inside this on create method so just write image view equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view that we have given the id to the image view inside our activity main and button code qr code equals find view by id r dot id dot generate button the id that we have given to the button inside our activity main and here is the zebra crossing library the link is given inside this description of the video here you can see the latest library is 3.4.1 zebra crossing core library then you just have to click on this char link to download this char file and here you can see the char file is downloaded now I'm going to just copy this and I will be pasting inside this project so just go over here and click on this project and then just open this app and here you can see the lights libs and here I'm going to just paste it I've already copied that file here you can see the file name and that file is now just pasted here here you can see that now what we have to do is just we have to implement the library inside our gravitor module app and the name will be this name so now just go to the android lab file and here click on the gradle build now here we will have to implement this using implementation just write implementation and then over here we will have to write files and parenthesis inside this parenthesis single quote and then libs slash core dash 3.4.1 dot jar the file name that we have inside our libs folder this is the file name here you can see inside our project we have the file name core dash 3.4.1 dot jar so i just write then just sync the file and now it will be synced successfully and after this we will go to the activity main.xml file and there we will add text view so just go to the activity main.xml file here and here we will add a text view so just write text view inside this text view and then layout width let's say match parent and height let's say wrap content and i'm going to give it an id of input text and then close this after doing this i'm going to give it a margin top of 
20 dp to separate it from the image view so just copy this margin top from the button and give it and now you can see the text view is separated from the image view as well as the button now i'm going to initialize this text view and also the button is already initialized i'm going to change it to text view and also this to input text the id that we have given to the text view and now i am going to check the condition that is if text view dot get text dot to string is not equal to null and here you can see the warning it is saying that it is always true so just going to remove this first and we will be using text utils dot is empty to check whether it is empty or not and we will assign we will pass here text view dot get text and now we will not we will add not operator and here I am going to create a new string variable that is this text and then the text that we have to pass in our method to get the desired QR code so I am going to get it as get text dot to string and then we will be creating a bitmap QR code and we have a custom method that we will be creating after adding an argument that is the text means we are passing the text as a string value so now you can see this create method inside this main activity and just leave it everything as it is now return null we will change it later from the bitmap so now we will create a bit matrix result the bit matrix class is inside our lips that we have added that is the zebra cross library and after this we will be having a try block and inside this try block we will initialize the result with the help of new multi format writer dot encode and then pass the string value that is the text for which we are going to generate the qr code and after this we will be adding a barcode format dot qr code here you can see this qr code and then width i'm going to give it a width of 300 and also the height is also 300 and hint is null means there is no hint and here you can see this add catch block and resolve this error and now we will create two variables integer variables that is the width and the height so just write it width equals result dot get width and uh, here you can see there is an error int height equals result dot get height and now we have to resolve this error just alt enter and here you can see the suggestions you should have to assign it as null result equals null and then here you can see the warning means we may get a null pointer exception null pointer exception so we have to first return if we will go inside this catch block we will return and here you can see everything is fine now we are not going to see any of the warnings related to the null pointer exception so we have done and now i'm going to create an array of integer that is the pixels new int and here we will be passing the size of this array so width into height is the size for the picture and then we will initialize a for loop for x equals 0 x is less than and height and x plus plus this is the simple for loop and inside this for loop we have an integer variable that is offset and we will initialize it using the x into width that we have created above and here again we are going to start a for loop int k equals 0 and k is less than width and k plus plus here you have to change this to width to resolve the error and then k plus plus and inside this for loop 
we will initialize we will put the values inside the pixel at the position of set means the index of set plus k and we will assign it result dot get result dot get and here we will pass the value of k and then the value of x and now we will check if it is true by using the ternary operator and if it is true then we will assign it as the black color and in else case we will assign the value of the white color also you can change these colors according to your choices means what color of QR code you want and now I am importing these color values and then we will go outside of these two for loops and we will create a bitmap that we want to return as an image so my bitmap equals bitmap dot create bitmap then here you will have to write the value of width and the value of height and then the last thing will be the configuration so write bitmap dot config dot config the first letter should be the capital letter and then config dot rgb double eight double eight and then semicolon and now we will have to set the pixels for this bitmap my pixel my bitmap dot set pixels this method set pixels and here pass the pixels that we have created and the offset as zero and the stride value as width then x value y value as zero zero and the width and also the value of height now you can see this the method is having these parameters and now we can return this my bitmap by replacing this null value my bitmap now now it will return the qr code so let's go to the on create method and here i'm going to cut this code and i will write it inside our on click method when we will be setting on click listener in to the button qr code and inside this just paste this and then we are going to set the image bitmap for this image view and we will pass here qr code that we have created as a bitmap and now let's run the app and see if it is working or not now here you can see the app is running now and but here we have not set any of the text over here in the text view so first i'm going to change it to the edit text from where we will be taking the input and then we will generate the qr code according to that input so just change this to edit text first and now come inside this main activity and also change this to edit text and now let's run the app inside this edit text whatever input you will provide you will get the result according to that input in the QR code so just wait for the installation and here you can see the installation is successfully finished so now I'm going to write here let's say program it and then we will try to generate the QR code by clicking on this button and here you can see the QR code for the text program it and you can change it to other text let's say some random codes and then generate you can see the QR code is changed and whatever input you will provide over here you will get the QR code according to that inputs so that's it for the tutorial